In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert an image into a Google Docs document. Now, there are many ways that we can do this. And the simplest, I suppose, is just to drag and drop an image from where you might have one. So I've got one here on my desktop. And if I want this picture in my document, I can just click and drag and move it to where I want it in my document. You can see the little blue cursor moving around. That's where the image will go. So let's put it here. And you'll notice straight away that this image has gone in and it's gone onto the line and it's made this line nice and big to fit it in. It's treated the picture like it is a letter on that line. Um, so what I can do just to put it onto a different line, press enter like that. There are other things we can do. We can wrap text, but I've got another video that explains how to do that. Another way we can get an image into our work is just to paste it there. So I'm going to take a little screenshot of part of our page. And at the end of this line here that says you can paste an image into your document, I'm going to click there and I'm going to paste. So that is a control uh, V or propeller V on a Mac. And there is the image little screenshot that I took of the top corner. So I can paste pictures in. So any, any pictures that I might have copied, I can paste into my work. And then the third way we can get images in is by making use of the insert menu and inserting an image. And here we've got loads of different choices of how we can do that. So I could upload from my computer. So let's insert that picture of Lego me from earlier. So insert image, upload from computer. And on my desktop, I can see the Lego me image. So I'm going to open that and in it goes. And let's just put it onto a new line as we did before. So that's inserting image and upload from computer. Uh, what else can I do? I can go image, I can go to my Google Drive and it will show me at the side here all the images in my Google Drive. These are recent ones. This will search my whole drive and I can look for any images that might have been shared with me from someone else. So here's the banana. I'm going to click insert and in goes the banana into my page. And it's quite big, so I'm just gonna grab the handle and shrink that down. And you can see there, I can make that image uh, a lot smaller. So there's my banana. How else can we stick an image in? We can go to insert image and we can search the web. Now this does a Google image search directly in your document. And it does one other thing. When it does a Google image search, it only searches for images that the people that have published the image have said other people can use in their documents. Now I'll show you what I mean by that. Over in Google images, you can do a search. Let's do a search for cheesecake like that. So these are all images of cheesecakes, but many of these are on copyright uh, websites. So there's Sugar Spoon, BBC Food, Cooking Classy, and so on. And in the tools for Google Images, you can change your usage rights and you can select images that have been labeled for reuse or labeled for non-commercial use. So I might use labeled for non-commercial use and click that. And you'll notice we get a different set of images. And these are all images that have been labeled for non-commercial use. So I can happily insert these into my work. Um, I've also got labeled just for reuse there. That's a different set. And again, we'll get some of the same ones because they meet the same criteria. Um, but these, the people have said it's okay for us to use sort of. It's always worth checking in case it's been mislabeled, but there may be conditions about their reuse that you might wish to check. Now, this search does it here. So if I look for a cheesecake in here, we should get very much the same sort of images that we were getting in our safe search here. Look, there it is, the same one. 
So I can select the image, insert it, and in goes the cheesecake image that we found on there. And again, I can resize that just to make it a little bit smaller um, on my page. So that's a nice way of getting um, images. Now, don't forget fair use applies. If you're just using this for your own documents, for your own reading, then it doesn't particularly matter. But if you're going to public, uh, publicly publish your images, then you do need to make sure that you do have permission to use any images.